one of my favorite, y'all. Ever since I got put on to this heart cleanse with beets, I think it's beets, carrots, oranges. Mmm, I love it. Let me see, can I get through this video pretty swifty because I think my battery is low, but happy Saturday, everyone. I actually just got back from Harlem, one of my favorite places to go. I went to Malcolm Shabazz African Market on 116th Street in Harlem. I got this bag of goodies I'm about to unveil here in this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm so excited because it's been a little while since I actually went to that market. And funny enough, as I was perusing through the owls and passing, you know, by different vendors. Some vendors I actually patronize. I patronize, I see one, two, three, I think four all together. Four vendors this time. And a few of them, women, they were like, hey, sister, where you been? Where you been? <laughs> where you been? Because I, I actually took a hiatus from shopping especially at that particular location at that market because when I shopped there I spent a little pretty penny I will say that and it can be addictive yo because they got some really nice things so I told myself you know what if I go let's say today I'll wait maybe two three months before I go back again but they always have some new eye-catching things it's just like what y'all got new what y'all got what y'all got and yo I went by one of my favorite vendors. His name is Dembo. He's like in the middle aisle at the market. And he was busy today. So when I went, I saw this woman. She was like modeling one of the Malian coats. Granted, I have how many Malian coats from him? One, two, I think four now. Yeah, I think I got four Malian coats from him. Should I go run and grab them? Hold on, then hold on, hold on, be right back. Hold up. But yes. I was like, yes, I got my Malian But yeah, so these are my Malian coats. I'll show you guys in a minute that I got from him over, I would say the past two years since I've been living out here in Upper East Side. And so I was feeling a little jelly today because uh, when I walked up on his um, shop at the market, there was this woman, she was modeling one of his coats, which is kind of similar to the last one I purchased from him. This is black and white. I'm gonna show you guys. And I was like, wait, is that the last one? I was like, wait, is that the last one? But yeah, and I already modeled these, but you know, I love these. And I only wear them like in the way middle of winter. Like it got to be cold, cold because this material is Mali, uh, uh, Malian cloth. So it's pretty thick, it's pretty durable, but yeah. I, you know, I love this style, but let me show y'all the new items I got before my battery runs out, but yeah. E, e. The only thing is that in the pocket there, like the seam in the pocket, it has like a little, a little slight tear, but other than that, love it, love it. And then I have these two that are somewhat similar. But a little different. So all of his coats are like custom design. He doesn't make two coats the same. They're very unique in their design. So that's one. There was another that's similar to that one. And they're pea coats. That's what I love about it. 
very long, come all the way down to my ankles. And then this one is like a big toy. It reminds me of like the big bottle coats. But yeah, this one. So, all right. So let me, let's jump right into it because I know we don't have much time here in this video. But yeah, I was like, wait, is that the last one? And then I came back around because, you know, he was busy. He had so many people there. And I was like, um, when I came back around, I said, do you have more? He was like, yeah, but he was like finishing up a custom made order. So we weren't really able to get into it. So let's jump right in. I did get a few things. As I said, I patronized four different um, vendors there. So usually I try on some of the things. What should I think? Should I, should I do a try on here? All right, let's see. Let's see here. I think we got time. So I am going to try on these without knocking over this, <laughs> without knocking over this chair here. And let's see what it looks like on my body. Oh, this one is a dress. Okay. Okay. You guys, feel free to tell me what you think about these pieces. When I came across them, I definitely was impressed. Let's see, can I take off this shirt without messing up my bun? It's always a challenge for these videos here. Yeah. All right. She's a front, unless she's a back. That's the thing about sometimes the way they design these clothes is like, I have a hard time figuring out the front from the back. All right. material I do have a dress like this but it is oh my hair it's a different um design though, like different pattern design so this is the first I think that I have like with this Kente cloth. I do have a lot of kente cloth, but this is the first of its kind. So, mmm. I like. What do y'all think? Mmm, I love it. It comes all the way down to my ankles. I love it. Just in time for winter. All right, let's get into the, the next piece here. I think I got four pieces. All right, let's get into the next one. Now, also, this one actually comes with a head wrap, which I never wear. My head wraps for some reason. I never wear them, but it does come with a head wrap. I don't wear head wraps because I like showing my hair. It's just me. Ooh, African queen. All right, let's get into the next piece. Next piece is also a dress. Also a dress. Of these items. All right, so 
here is the second one. Let's see. Ooh, I know I'm gonna mess up my bun with this. Let's see, I'll try my best. Try my best not to. This one is more fitted though. Come on. You can do it. Okay. <laughs> Finally. I'm trying not to mess up my bun. That's the thing. Maybe I should have put it on from the bottom. Alright. I'm glad that it's stretchy. Wow. <sighs> wow. Oh my. Oh my. All right. How's my bun? All right. Still intact. Okay. So this reminds me of this other dress that I got. I'm not going to go and get it, but it is similar to this. I have another dress similar to that design um, in terms of the stitch pattern and everything. Um, it's just a different print. But, oh, so it is fitted. Wow. Doesn't have pockets, but it is fitted. Now, I do have a slim frame here. I got a little booty back there. A little something, something. I still, I'm still wearing my pants underneath. But, okay, this might be nice for a date night. Funny enough, I think, hold on, let me put it down. I think my other dress similar to this, I think it's green. I actually wore it on a date night a couple years ago. So I might fuck around and wear this one. I've been getting invited to dates here and there. And I'm thinking about accepting because I'm like more open to dating now. Like I have been on a dating hiatus. So it has like this flowing part at the bottom. I love it. All right, what y'all think about this one? I love it. I need to get some hips though. Need somebody to spread out my hips. <laughs> I am abstinent, so I think that makes a difference too. The girl is not getting it in. Um, but yeah, I like this. All right, let's get into the next piece. I love it. I love it. Mm. You are my African. Tomorrow is the New York City Marathon. And I know it's going to be crazy. Hell out there. Next one, I was trying to figure out if it was an actual dress or what. I think it is, though. I was like, wait, what is this? But now that I see, I think it is actually a dress. shorten this to do two in one. So I'm trying on this dress but there is the other four piece that I got which is actually um I think this is like an overcoat. So the first two dresses I tried on just now I got that from the lady that's in the front of the market to the left and each one was like $35. Not bad. 
And so these two pieces here, I'm going to show you guys, I got from the second vendor. And they were a little bit more pricey, though. All right. So this is actually a dress here. It is sleeveless, as you guys can see. I love the pattern. I don't have a dress like this, so I'm feeling it. And it ties there at the top. See? And then this is like a overcoat, which, wait, what is this? Oh, this is actually, most of these do come with like, oh, this is a whole hat. Ah, oh, this is a whole hat. Imagine that. Granted, I don't really wear my hair down. That would be interesting. I want to see what my hair down. Should I take my hair down? So actually, I like this. I was concerned whether or not it would fit. Because from the hanger, I couldn't really tell. It was hanging up. It has buttons. Fasten all the way down. This is like a medical coat. <laughs> but I do work in a hospital, so it just might be fitting. And funny enough, I'm going to show y'all, I got some art pieces that I'm thinking about putting up in my new office, my new office space. There you go. All right. So you guys want to see what the hat looks like on me? All right. I should take my hair down. I like the pattern though here. All right, let me take out my bun. I did wash my hair today, so it's still wet. Whew. Still wet, and when my hair is wet, it adds like extra weight on my head. All right, let's see what this looks like. It's a whole, <laughs> it's a whole hat, yo. It's funny. I'm not really a fan of hats. And it's stretchy. Nice. Oh. Okay. Nice. My hair has grown a bit. What are we... How are we doing? On the... Okay. Not bad. Not bad. We'll use 4%. So I have 22% left. All right. This is like pajamas. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I don't really wear my hair down. I used to. Funny enough, I used to wear my hair down when I lived out in L.A. That was pretty much the only way I would wear my hair. But now I don't do that. Not my thing. So I'm going to take this hat off. Um, hmm. I do like the way it's made and it has elastic material on the inside, so it like kind of stretches there. Different. It's different, but I don't know. Will I wear my hair like that? I wear my hair down just to wear the hat. I don't I like to have my hair up. It's just my style. And it's been a while, I know, since I've done a freeform lock update. So I may come back and do one. Not tomorrow. I have a lot going on tomorrow. Um, but I'll probably come back soon to do one. So I started my freeform locks. It was 2020 when I moved back to New York from LA. I haven't looked back since. And as you guys can see, my hair is thick, very thick. And this is damp hair that I'm twisting up. Actually, I find it much easier to do a bun when my hair is damp as opposed to when it is 
completely dry because the hair is more amenable and flexible. But all right, that'll do for now. So let's get into the remainder of the things that I have. Yeah, you see how I think it's just much better when I have my hair up. I'm wear it down, but not my thing. And definitely where I work, the place where I work, I work in a psychiatric hospital. And that definitely would not work. Working with um, the patients I, I see. So, yeah. All right, let's get into the remainder of this video here. And, I mean, I don't think I anticipated buying art. I didn't. I know I was going to buy some clothing, but I'll only come up a little bit. All right. I feel like this outer coat was made just for me. I can put some things together. So I gotta go back and visit my friend Dimbo at the African market. He said he had more coats like that because I thought the one that lady she was um trying on. I thought that was the last one. I was like, no. So I did get some more masks. I actually got two masks. Oh, by the way, so the first two dresses I tried on, um, those were $35 each I got from the first vendor. This outfit here, this dress and this outer coat, I got from the second vendor. I think the dress was 60 and this coat was 70. These I got from the third vendor. No, not the third vendor, the fourth vendor. Um, and I think they were, I think they're cute. It's just, it stood out to me. It spoke to me. I'm like, you know what? I need this. So I may hang this up in my new office that I'll be moving into. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's more like this. More like what I'm going like. I'm like, I got the eyes all the way down here. I think, oh, you're goofy. Yeah, it's more like this. And like this. So these two, and then I also got. All right, so the third vendor actually got some jewelry. I got this piece I'm wearing here guys can see but it is an Ankh bracelet love it love it love it and it matches my Ankh necklace that I purchased where did I get this from I got this actually from the Bronx from a street vendor in the Bronx like a couple of weeks ago and then what else did I get from this vendor I actually got these I got this. I got two things actually from the third vendor. So I like to spread out my support, not just like shop only at one place. So the third vendor, I got this necklace here, along with this bracelet that I'm wearing. This off bracelet. I got this necklace. And it is adjustable, I believe. So, but it is passport mask so with these masks I've been told that if you have one of these or I have one of these rather I can go anywhere in Africa with this mask it's called a passport mask um, this is not my first one though I do have another one that I've made into a choker so I like I like um, let's see. how do I look in it? Let's try him on. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Along with the aunt. So that's from the um, second vendor. But she gave me a deal. They were $20 each. So I paid 20 for this mask and I paid 20 for this bracelet here. 
you know, I just love. He had also had like, he had on, he had the Eye of Horus, he had Isis, but I really want to get this, this one. And it was shiny or two. And so that's the third vendor. And then the fourth vendor is where I got these final pieces here. So these two masks I already showed you guys, they are made out of wood. And I probably will be taking them to my new office. And then I got more jewelry. I love bracelets. That's my favorite. Bracelets. I used to wear a bunch of rings on my um, fingers, but I don't really anymore. Um, I love bracelets. I love my necklaces. And these are so cute. So these two bracelets with the balls. They were $10 each. And I'm like, okay. I think it, the material, I believe, is brass. If I'm not mistaken. And then I got, she actually sold me this. I wasn't really looking at buying this basket, but she sold this to me. And I bought it. So, cute little basket there. Moving basket. And I'm trying to figure out, like, what do I want to do with this basket? I don't know. I have a lot of different things that I've purchased from African vendors, and it's just kind of sitting around my place. Like, what do I do with it? But I may actually put jewelry, maybe like a jewelry holder, of my jewelry that I have out that I wear, like, frequently. I have, like, a whole big-ass um, glass of jewelry that I did a whole unveiling on um, a separate video. Um, that's my entire jewelry collection. But then this just may be like jewelry I wear day to day. So there we have it. So, oh, so these masks were $20, I think, a piece. $20. And then this was $10. So all together, this, these three items were $50. And then these two bracelets were $10 each. Altogether, I spent a grand total of $310, I believe. I think I did the math. Um, not too bad. Not too bad. Hell, one of those coats alone is like 200 some dollars. This one coat alone. So I didn't buy a coat today. I guess I didn't need to, right? Funny enough, if... I went there and he wasn't as busy because he was so busy. He had like three, four other people he was seeing and they wanted custom made items. And I was like, I didn't really want to wait. I was like, I'll come back. So, but it wasn't, if it wasn't busy, I probably would have purchased some more things from Dembo. And yeah, I probably would purchase a coat. <laughs> so it's good because I was able to dill and dabble and buy different things as opposed to just buying one coat that costs like $200, right? So, there we have it. I'm about to wrap this video up. Funny enough, I am waiting on a phone call. So, this guy to call me after 9 o'clock. So, I think I'm about to start back dating. I did, like, take a little break because I'm just, like, was annoyed. But I think I'm ready. We shall see. Does it have pockets? Yes, of course it does. Of course it has pockets. On that note, I will catch you guys later. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next one.